This month's book of the month for PTL isn't a kid's book. That's what we normally do, and Lila mm -hmm. will introduce it to us. But this is actually for young adult readers and up. YA is extremely popular, and we actually have a twofer. And our first one is Blackout. It's set in New York City during a heat wave, and the lights go out. This is about uh, black teens in love, the magic of first meeting, stories of exes and friends, and its companion novel. You have that one, too. It's called Whiteout. This one is set in Atlanta during a Christmas snowstorm and it's about a group of friends helping another pull off an epic apology as they write. So we have two books for this one. Yeah, and we know reading really is so important yeah. as a child because it sets us up to be lifelong readers so that we go on to enjoy books like this month's PTL books. And for this month's Books and Beyond, we meet some of those lifelong readers who are able to keep turning the pages thanks to a vital service. We met Chuck Arrigo last year in the height of a wave of COVID. He works for the Allegheny County Library Association in charge of the three fleet bookmobiles servicing so many people in our area, Stanley Selkowitz being one of them. I love it. I mean, a lot of the residents here are in their 90s. They can't get out. Stanley lives at the New River in Squirrel Hill, and while they have a library, the bookmobile services open up another chapter of possibilities. Believe it or not, I've read most of the books in our library because I normally get 10 books at a time. So from this particular service, like this lobby type service we're doing, we circulated 24,000 items in 2021. And that, I mean, that's a lot you know, from, from a truck. The three trucks visit more than 90 spots a month between community stops, schools, and senior living centers. As you know, as you get older, you're not as mobile. You don't have as many options to get out of a building to go and do things. Uh, library is, is, is one of those, and for a lot of these folks, it's a lifeline to the outside. Chuck said it was difficult during the pandemic, having to modify and losing some interactions, but they still made sure people kept on reading. Very accommodating. It's, it's a wonderful service for the residents here. It really is. I mean, anything you need, you just ask. Stanley went on and on about Gloria, who he says helps with any book request. Chuck vouched for that, saying she gives residents her cell phone number so they can reach her if they need anything. We get to know them, we get to know their families. You know, they, they, they don't just come and pick up books. And Chuck also talked about the younger readers who visit their other bookmobile. And one of the services they also provide is making sure the kids walk away with a library card. Um, so we're very oftentimes their first library card and you know, for the parents to be able to take that card and take them to the library. It's kind of the circle, right? You, you want to get them interested in reading early and then we'll catch them again on this side because they're going to become lifelong readers. You know, I remember as a kid in elementary school, and of course there was a school library there, but once a year, a bookmobile would come. Yeah. That you got so excited about it. Yeah, and, and for the younger kids too, it's oftentimes either a preschool or maybe a, a, another early learning center that right. doesn't have a library. Mm -hmm. And so they are signed up for these library cards. They can continue going and checking out their own books. It's really neat. And then to see it really, as Chuck said, full circle. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's an escape. Thing. It really is. Reading takes you places. Right. Well, for more on the two books for our PTL Book of the Month and the worksheets for a deeper dive and conversations that go with them, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We'll have it posted for you.